Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to talk about an exciting project in my riding. The project is known as Changa House, spelled C-H-A-N-G-A. -A. And this is part of a vision that has become into reality through someone by the name of Dr. Roz Roach. Dr. Roz Roach runs a healing place which is used for empowerment and healing for women and children who exist in environments of violence. The same concept now is being moved into young people. And the idea behind Changa House, which is being built uh, and is going to be started in the next little while, is to bring about uh, a place for young people and uh, for teenagers to be able to get past the violence and be able to get involved in programs and other uh, uh, things that are positive and move them away from the uh, environments that they may be in. I stand today to commend uh, and congratulate Dr. Roz Roach. She runs a successful center already, as I said, for women and for um, uh, women that suffer violence. And she's doing the same thing now with young teenagers and other young people who require help. The word Changa has its roots in African, and it stands for, or means, strength, strong as iron, and good. And it's my wish, desire, and hopefully that of all members of this House, that when Changa House finally opens its doors, it will be a place of strength and of good for all the people, all the young people that come in there. Even though we require police and we require enforcement and other mechanisms to ensure that our society is safe, I think the very best route is what this person, Dr. Roz Roach, is trying to do. I commend her and I look forward to its opening. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.